My name's Tara, and I'm Taylor's future sister-in-law. And I'm Krista, Taylor's other sister-in-law. We're the sisters that Taylor never wanted, <laughs> but is now stuck with. These two actually met in a bowling league in middle school. Here you go, guys. Much like a game of bowling, their relationship has gone through many frames. And yes, I googled bowling lingo. Not a bowler. Starting as a friendship, and then it turned into love. I can remember my first time being in John's company. The shy and gentle giant with the biggest heart. I saw the way that Taylor smiled and joked and felt comfortable around him long before they made it official. And once it was, it felt like they were together forever. We were both so lucky to grow up with sisters as best friends, and now we're, I'm already gonna start crying. <laughs> we're a million times luckier to have our sister squad. Taylor and Jonathan, look out at this church. You don't have to look any further. You have been so blessed by the people who are gathered here that love you and support you and believe in you and are there with you in good times as well as in bad. We're honored to be here with Taylor and John on their special day that has been years in the making. And their love story started off as a beautiful friendship, which is how I know that this marriage will last a lifetime. Last year at the Thanksgiving table, we all Urban Dictionaried our names to see what qualities the internet described like named people as. Taylor's read as follows. Short, loves to have fun, hyper, has a lot of friends, nice, funny, cool, pretty. Now while all of these things are true, Chris and I would like to share a few of the qualities that we find unique to our Taylor. Attentive, protective, intelligent, Notoriously late for everything, but will always be the last one to stay at a party. Uh, I always knew Jonathan would be destined for greatness, sharing a birthday with the one and only James Franklin. But my brother had his struggles through the years, and it all started around 10 years old when he was getting uh, laid out playing backyard football. Mind you, my friends at this time were 17 years old. <laughs> Finally, after many tests were done, it was determined that Jonathan was concussion free and finally smartened up and decided he couldn't go through this life with, anymore without Taylor being in his life. All of you are participants in this. I'm not the only one witnessing these marriage vows today. This couple, they're marrying each other, okay? They are the primary ministers of this sacrament. 
So we have a responsibility today to this couple too, to support them and to extend to them our love, our prayers, our support as they move into this new chapter in their lives. You okay? <laughs> you need to get one out of me. <laughs> Can we read them now? Up to you guys. They're handwritten. Yeah, they're a little lengthy. Oh dear Lord. A gift. Wow. This is a gift. <laughs> no, I couldn't think of what to say. <laughs> Say it again, I'm so proud of you. Take you, Taylor. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you. I will love you. And honor you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I Taylor. I Taylor. Take you, Jonathan. Take you, Jonathan. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. You know, Jonathan, I have to be honest with you. I, I don't know what it's like not to uh, or to have grown up without your mom, having lost her and when you were only two years old. Um, for so many, you may say, oh, that's, that's heartbreaking to hear that. But on the other side, God has blessed you with a whole other family. And I look out here too, and I see on both sides of the aisle throughout this church, that family that have been with you for so many years and will continue to be with you. Gino! Gino. 
And they're gonna dance with a really cool song called Purple Rain. All of you know that song. And who did this song? Thank you. I did. So much about your last name. It's so cool. I don't really I <laughs> meant to call you anything. <laughs> no. <laughs> I love you and I'll always be here whenever you guys need me. Jonathan, I bust on you a lot, but I truly look up to you and I'm so proud of you. And I know for sure mom is looking down, smiling on you today. John, we're so lucky to have you officially join the family. I think you know how much we love you. You make it so easy. May your love be modern enough to survive the times but old-fashioned enough to last forever. We love, love you, Kilianis. Cheers! Our love is something no one can ever match, but I would gladly invite anyone to try. I love you so fiercely it hurts me to my core. Merely writing these words down brings tears to my eyes, just thinking about how much I absolutely adore you. You are my best friend, I'm so unbelievably lucky I get to call you my wife. And I promise to always love you as long as I live. I love you, Poog. T.